Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, the Charter Girl. How are you all doing? Hi Charters. So, as promised, we would be discussing today about today about mergers and acquisition tax interview questions. That is M&A tax interview questions, which were asked by uh, the interviewers during my interview, and I appeared for M&A tax interviews in KPMG, EY, and PWC. So before going ahead, I really want you all to please subscribe and hit the like button to keep my motivation going. Thank you. So now uh, I would be starting about uh, KPMG first of all. So in the KPMG interview, let's talk about it. Um, the interview happened quite quickly because I had sent out my uh, cold email to the HR and uh, yeah so talking about the cold email also I had mostly sent out cold emails due to which I got a job today in PWC in m and tax so uh, if you want to know what is a cold email and how to send out a cold email then let me know I'll make a video on this I'll uh, show you the format in which I had sent my cold email and also I didn't only send my resume in the cold email I sent out two more things along with my resume like two more attachments so what were those two attachments I will uh, let you know in another video if you want one so uh, let's not talk about the cold email right now let's talk about the interview of MNA tax so first of all for MNA tax it is very important for you to be thorough about all the things you have done that you have mentioned in your CV so number one point is your CV because first of all they would be asking you to tell me about yourself and then they would ask you that what was your articleship experience and what was your CV experience alright so and then um, recent mergers and demergers if you know recent uh, recently what all happened so he asked me the person asked me in KPMG interview if uh, I am so much interested in MA tax also they asked me why I am interested in MA tax so why MA my articleship was from a missile form so I had mostly done my uh, articleship experience into CIT or IVT so he asked me that why I am choosing MA tax so uh, you need to be ready about that answer as well also he asked me if i am so much interested then what are the recent mergers and demergers if i know so the recent mergers and demergers if you must be knowing then uh, that's pvr and inox also there was uh, swiss bank and scb merger swiss bank and scb merger sorry not swiss bank what am i saying and uh, SVB merger. Also, I had given uh, some more examples uh, like Airtel and Indus Towers. So, Airtel acquired Indus Towers for uh, tower services. So, uh, these were some of the mergers. I had researched about them uh, before my interview only. So, you can also try and research about it. Uh, which were the recent ones like uh, now many more things have come up uh, many more international banks have held so uh, that was the most uh, recent one when my interview happened uh, about the credit stress one it happened just four to five days before my interview so I had prepared well about it because uh, that is the only thing they are going to ask you they are going to ask you about budgets any budget amendment you know because you are going into taxation so uh, the recent budget amendments any uh, recent budget changes they you must be knowing and also uh, i am just quoting some sections you just need to uh, study thoroughly uh, these sections in detail so just go to the income tax website and study from the bear act income tax website say bear act so you have to study so the section numbers I am going to quote are 
डी एंड डबल ए दिस इज अबाउट दी अमेंडमेंट सेक्शन नंबर सेवेंटी टू सेक्शन नंबर सेवेंटी टू ए सेक्शन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स टू सेवन बी सेक्शन फिफ्टी सिक्स टू टेन दीज आर सम ऑफ दी सेक्शन दैट आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो इफ आई कैन रिकॉल या सेक्शन नाइन ऑल्सो द होल कैपिटल गेम्स पार्ट सो एवरीथिंग इन कैपिटल गेम्स लाइक द होल चैप्टर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर विच इज द चार्जिंग सेक्शन सॉरी सेक्शन फोर्टी फाइव विच इज द चार्जिंग सेक्शन टिल सेक्शन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर ए बी सी ऑल दी पार्ट वेर यू गेट दी एग्जामेशन एंड ऑल सो यू हैव टू बी थर विद ऑल ऑफ दीज सेक्शन because interviewer can ask you anything this section cover mostly about like section 72 and section 72 a 79 they cover about the set up and carry forward of losses section 6 to 10 covers uh, the gifting part because uh, yes the kpmg person also asked me about the section 56 to 10 he gave me a case study about if a person is going to gift uh shares to his friend so how would the taxability be done and when would it be taxable like during uh, you give them the shares or after he sells off the shares or after the end of the financial year in which uh, the gift was uh, made so you have to be thorough about these sections the 56 to 10 section 72 to 72 to 67b also covers uh this section also covers mostly about um as i am able to recall about the angel investing section uh, that it doesn't apply to the startups and all so uh, you have to just uh, go through some youtube videos you will be fine uh, you will be able to get these clear very easily you just need some time you need about 4 to 5 hours to prepare these before hand so uh, this is about the kpmg interview i'll just explain uh, once again to recap first of all they asked me about my cv and then they asked me about my article ship and then they asked me about why am i tax then they asked me about 56 210 a question that uh, a friend has gifted the share etc and uh, nothing much one more question was asked about section 72 he just asked me that what is section 72 and what do you know about it he also asked me that you can uh, open uh, you know they mostly check that whether you are able to interpret the section so he told me and he was asking me about section 72 he told me to open the income tax website and study it take 2 to 3 minutes and study it and then explain to me what is section 72 because they don't require you to memorize this section they really want you to uh like be able to interpret the section so that is why there is no need to just mug up the sections uh, if the interviewer allows you can open it on your screen and then uh, take 2 to 3 minutes of time understand it and then explain them again in short so there is no need to we tense that you need to revise or mug up everything and after section 72 he asked me some general questions that what does my family do he asked me some general questions about my family and uh, what else there is nothing else he just asked me about my family uh, and he told me that they would respond but they didn't respond he told me that uh, the hr told me that i have qualified the round 1 but the round 2 would be done later on so round 2 didn't happen for a month so that is why uh, kpmg went out of the question so now after kpmg moving on to the pwc round because uh, pwc happened after kpmg for two weeks i was just waiting for kpmg to reply but nothing happened pwc interview happened much much later almost after 20 days of kpmg round so i didn't <laughs> do anything till then I just kept on applying, you know, for my favorite positions like eminent assistant, terms of credit. Those were the most specific uh, positions I really wanted to get into. So in the PWC interview, 
it was quite um, like a candid interaction it was nothing of uh, a tense interview because the interviewee uh, she was a manager and uh, she just made me so much comfortable during the initial 2 to 3 minutes see she just asked me that why tax so i told her that i am not interested in to audit and that is my personal choice that i don't want to get into audit i want to get into tax so uh, <laughs> she was uh, quite uh, like jolly about it she was uh, laughing and she also made me laugh because uh, we both just said that uh, that's why she was also here because she also didn't like audit she liked tax and uh, that is what the whole uh, tax team is into so uh, that was like a candid interaction for 3 to 4 minutes after that she also asked me to tell me about yourself tell me about your article ship experience and why you want to get into mne she had already asked it beforehand the first question was that only and when i told her about all this after that uh, she asked me basic about like section 72 and section 79 after that she asked me about the basic rates like corporate tax rates which is the 17% 122% 1 all those basic tax rates and she asked me about the budget amendments she asked me that tell me about uh, any two budget amendments that happened on 1st feb 2023 so it was a really candid interaction i didn't recall all these dates and uh, she was quite okay about it she told me that it's okay i don't expect you to uh, memorize everything and uh, since you have just recently passed out so that's fine that you don't recall anything so i just want to tell all of you also that it's completely fine it's completely okay not to recall anything and just tell the interviewer honestly uh, that are not able to recall it so that was about the pwc first round after that my ey first round also happened but we will get into ey later on we'll just get into pwc second round first so during the pwc round 2 what happened was that i got my round to scheduled the uh, next day only Uh, like my round one happened on monday so the next day on tuesday i got my round to schedule for wednesday and they were calling me for face to face round but later on the director had to um, go on to some meeting immediately so they cancelled my face to face round on wednesday morning itself so my round happened on thursday that was virtual so the virtual round happened and it was only for 20 minutes because that person doesn't need to know about your technical knowledge he needs to know what kind of a person are you and what kind of a uh, team player are you are you do you have leadership qualities or not so mostly uh, the second round was about my kind of an hr round so uh, actually what happened was that uh, he was not doing well so he was a little bit of rude to me i felt that uh, because i think that he was not doing well and he had to take my interview he had to speak ask questions during my interview so uh, i said uh, that so please take care etc that is also the basic humanity i don't need to tell you about it so during the round two what happened was it started with my introduction only i introduced him he asked me where i did my articles at from where i did my schooling from etc etc and he also asked me about assessment so what happened was that i was not ready for assessment questions uh, the assessment questions like uh, section 144 section 148 etc so i didn't really uh, prepare them assessment was uh, i prepared for assessment only when i was preparing for my exams which was in november 22 so since 4 to 5 months i didn't really uh, revise assessments so he asked me a question that uh, what is the time limit after the close of the financial year that you can uh, still the income tax department can send you the assessment notice 
सो बिकॉज आई डोंट रिवाइज इट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द फोर इयर्स वाला लिमिट आई बाय मिस्टेक सेंड थर्टी डेज एंड ही गॉट क्वाइट एंग्री विद दैट ही सेड दैट ओनली थर्टी डेज सिंस यू नो इंटरव्यू इज अ वेरी पैनिकी सिचुएशन यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू क्विकली गिव दी आंसर यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू थिंक अबाउट इट इन डिटेल guys i'm sorry for any background noise so you know do want to think about it in detail so i could say that 30 days and he said that aise to pata nahi uh, assessment even ho payega 30 days mein agar in from tax department notice bhej dega to so he told me the correct answer it's for yours i said sorry and he also said that don't give wrong answers if you don't know about it so uh, these were some of the moments that i felt he is a little bit rude but you know in reality i joined pwc only and that person is literally not rude at all the way he showed me in the interview is not was his true personality is actually he is so friendly and he is so down to earth he uh, talked to me so nicely during my initial two days at pwc so you know uh, it is just to uh, intimidate you it is just to know that whether you are able to handle the pressure situations or not so uh, don't get panicked because of that you know and uh, the pwc round two was also only for 20 minutes so he didn't really ask any technical questions he asked me again about what my family does and all this kind of questions are what does my father do what does my mother do etc and uh, after 20 minutes he uh, just wound up the interview and it was done so uh, on thursday it was uh, my virtual interview and on friday i received a call from hr that i was selected so uh, pwc was done with and i chose pwc only because uh in ny also i got selected but pwc was like a personal choice so now coming to the ny interview questions so in ny there were three rounds the first round was with the manager first round was with the manager the second round was with the senior manager and the third round was with the partner all of these rounds were done within a time frame of 24 hours ey was so quick in taking their interviews my first round happened on uh, like wednesday wednesday at 3 pm my second round happened on wednesday at 9 pm my third round happened on uh, thursday 2 pm so all of this was done within 24 hours i am really impressed with this with ey that uh, they were so quick in taking all this so my first round with ey with the manager was a really really long one it was for almost 1.5 hours not almost but it was for 1.5 hours it started at 3 pm and it ended at around 4:30 so now what happened was that she really didn't uh, care about anything uh, like my personal life or anything she just asked me about my introduction and then she straight away went into a case study and that case study was about the company a and company b and the company a holds 100% in company b and uh, this company a holds 100% in company b it is a netherland company and this is an indian company okay so this is a netherland this is an indian company now the netherland company wants to sell off this holding Now, New Zealand company wants to sell off this holding to two places. One is to Indian company for 50% of its shares, and the other 50% of its shares to another New Zealand company. So she asked me, what would be the tax implications on this? Now, uh, the person who was taking my interview at this time, she was. A really really friendly person okay i'm telling you uh, like she literally she was like a teacher to me she taught me how to read section she told me that i can share my computer screen and start explaining all the sections that would be applicable 
now while I was reading, she was completely guiding me that how to read a section, what all to consider and what all not to consider. What she was looking at for uh, the like what she was looking at, the quality she was looking at was whether I am able to interpret and whether I am able to understand what she was saying. Because how quickly I am able to grasp what she is saying and what the section is saying. So she was a really, really friendly and a teacher to me. I would forever be grateful to her. And uh, really, if uh, she is, I don't know if she would ever watch this video or not. But uh, if you are ever watching, I am really grateful to you, ma'am. Uh, so, yeah, she is like a teacher. In one point, I was she really taught me about what is MA tags and what they really did. So uh, I really got a detailed idea about what I am going to do and what I am expected to do. So in that time uh, we uh, did solve this case study. We went into section number 72, section number 45, 46, 48, section 47. Section 47 is about the uh, transfers which are not really considered transfer when you transfer a capital asset, but it is not considered a transfer. Also, we went into the treaty part, the international treaty part, because uh, there uh, we saw the Netherlands and India treaty. So we uh, read about that, we read uh, what does the treaty say about where those uh, gains would be taxable if you are getting any capital gain, if you sell any shares etc. So those 1.5 hours were quite enlightening but I also got quite down to read during that time. I thought that a few days will But yeah, it was uh, really helpful. That uh, 1.5 hours are really memorable because I never uh, dive, deep dived into anything like this before, not even during my exams or anything. Those were really like a practical case scenario. After that, during my second interview round of EY, during the second round of EY, it was with the senior manager. The senior manager also asked me about my intro and also he didn't uh, really care about any technical things. He asked me about only one riddle. I also uploaded that in my short section. You can go and check that. In my short section, I uploaded that riddle that uh, uh, there are two jars of three liters and five liters each. And uh, you can uh, fill these and empty these any number of times. So how would you accurately measure four liter of water? This was the question he asked me. I was really like, I immediately said that you can uh, combine these and then half them. Like combine these, you would get uh, 8 liters and then you can half it. So he said that that would not be accurate. So it would not be accurately measured. The 4 liters, we need accurate measurement for that. So think again. So I asked him 2 to 3 minutes to recollect my thoughts so that I can give him an accurate answer. I grabbed the pen and a notebook. I don't know why, although that was not needed. But I grabbed one and I started thinking. Finally, I came up with the answer. So that also, uh, that interview also lasted for like 20, 25 minutes only. He was really concerned that uh, where do you stay? How would you travel to the office? Because the office and my home distance is about uh, like 30, 35 kilometers. So he was uh, mainly concerned about that, that we are working for uh, almost three days, four days in office. So how would you be traveling? Would you be okay with coming to office? We are not going to work from home, etc. So I just had to make him believe that, yes, I am ready to come to the office. So that was it. He was also really friendly. I think EY people are really friendly. I like that about EY. So, uh, after that, finally coming to the third round of EY, this was the partner round. So the third round of EY was also really uh, simple. It was only for 15 minutes, not even for 15 minutes, almost 20 to 30 minutes only. He asked me that why MA tax? 
he was just concerned that he wants people who are working there to be interested and to be enthusiastic in any dance because you know he said that you would learn any day you can learn the technical knowledge uh, not today not tomorrow but after 2 years after 4 years he said that you would be okay with the technical knowledge i want people who are going to work for the team who are really interested i don't want that uh, you can just make up some excuse not to work or you find out uh, any excuse to uh, let go of the pressure so i just have to make him believe that i am truly interested in mna tax and i am not going to uh, do anything else other than mna tax and that is really true i was very really interested in mna tax so the 15 minutes were only this he was only interested in knowing that i am enthusiastic i am uh, like a person who can um, just go with the team and i can handle the pressure so uh, that is it about the eva interview after my eva interview happened at uh, 3 pm so in the evening only i got the update that i am selected in eva so on the same day i also got the update that i am selected in pwc so pwc and eva i got the update on the same day that was on friday and within one hour gap like so first i got to know about pwc and then i got to know about eby only but uh, at the very first reason instance my uh, decision was with pwc only and i joined pwc that was a completely uh, like personal choice um, so also i would want to uh, explain my experience with by pwc uh, not by pwc like i want to explain my experience what happened at ey when i rejected ey and how they reacted they how i negotiated so i would explain about it i don't know if anyone is interested so let me know if you are interested i would make a video about it uh, that is it about the interview questions for mna tax let me know if you want any other guidance about any tax or anything else in general i had also appeared for interviews in the pro and uh, i also appeared for interview in atel and in deloitte hi guys so as i was writing deloitte my laptop suddenly shut down so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye